Hi, folks. We are going to talk about our scary future today. Because we can't deny, reality, who could survive the microplastics environments? Some reports say an adult ingester inhale more than 100k microplastics per year. That could be an equivalent of a credit card per week. If you love to eat mussels or clams or oysters, you could intake more than 10k plastic particles per year. Plastic fibers are floating in the air everywhere you go. The world now consumes nearly 300 times more plastic than in 50s. Some estimate is around 400 million tons a year and it could double by 2050. Microplastics are now circulating around the world from the bottom of the oceans to the sky. According to some laboratory tests, microplastics have caused damage to human cells like allergic reactions and cell death. As you know, microplastics are already in human blood and lungs. Scientists detected microplastics in the bodies of 80% of sample patients. They are in the lungs, intestines and even in placentas of fetuses. And microplastics have already been found in healthy blood donors. The point is how harmful are they to human health? Some researchers say microplastics could potentially cause negative effects to human health, but scientists have yet to discover evidence how harmful they are. We don't hear aged. People are suffering from diseases caused by microplastics or plastic particles inside their bodies. Today most of them seem to be healthy and enjoying retirement. How about younger generations? Since thy were born they live in the environment where hundreds times more plastics are consumed and much more microplastics are around them. What will happen to them decades later? Will microplastics accumulate inside their lungs and blood? Scientists still do not have clear answers for this. But those plastics are meant to be durable in tough environments. If microplastics remain in human bodies, they could clog in the blood vessels and cause blood clots. They can cause damage to lungs making you feel some chest pain or shortness of breath. If they accumulate in placenta, they reduced fetal growth and could be harmful to newborn babies. Even researchers confirmed microplastics can harm human bodies, it would be too late. What can we do? We have to abandon weapons or cars or electronics or else and use huge money to remove plastics. In environments, even we do that, most of plastics remain intact for thousands of years or more. Perhaps we have to give up removing plastics and just wait for our civilizations. Collapsing. Why we don't have enough researches on microplastics. Maybe it's too late. Scientists might know that there will be no way to remove microplastics. Technology can't solve this environmental pollution. We have to let our descendants live in worse environments than today. And we know nothing about the dire consequences of microplastics pollution. Thank you for watching and have a good time.